was the coolest thing I've ever done. This week we're going to continue hunting deer in Wisconsin. Um, as we ended last week's show, I, mean, I, made, a, I made a bad shot on an eight-pointer. Uh, like I said, fortunately enough, um, we got him on camera again, so we know that deer is still alive. Um, probably all chasing does, so we can maybe even get on him again. Um, but as this week unfolds, you know, it, we keep seeing good young deer. We're just not seeing the big mature deer that we're looking for to try to shoot. Um, one after another, they keep coming in. Um, keep passing them. My camera guy thinks I'm crazy. Um, he, like, he, I don't know, he didn't understand why I was passing these deer, but um, the reason is as good as it is is because we do pass deer like that. Well, as you can tell, she's a bit windy up here. Um, we've got 20, 25 mile an hour winds. It's been kind of snowing off and on all day, pretty nasty, but we're right back in the same stand we were 24 hours ago when uh, I shot one of the biggest eight pointers I've ever shot. Um, Beautiful, beautiful 22 inch wide A planter, uh, mid 150s probably, but I hit him right in the shoulder. Um, from the video, when we watched it, I don't know, 200 times probably, um, and watched it with a lot of people that know more about hunting than I do, and we've all kind of come to the conclusion that I didn't get enough penetration, but we spent all morning, four or five hours, you know, looking, there was little spots of blood here and there, um, and looking for the deer all morning and never found anything, so. Uh, everyone that has seen the video agrees the deer is alive and maybe has a hurt shoulder, but probably chasing does right now. So, um, what do you do? Um, like I said, though, we're back in the same stand, so we're hoping maybe we see them again. Um, kind of our target car target deer this week, especially now that um, I screwed up and didn't do my part. So, uh, but there's also a lot of good other bucks up here. So, kind of down in the dumps, but back in the stand and keep going. It ha it's hunting. It happens. So can't uh can't be negative got to be positive and keep going forward and, and we'll get back on another big one if not him again so i think uh if we play our cards right we'll, we might see that deer again this week so um well, i'm gonna sit down i am freezing it's cold winds howling and it's starting to snow a little bit so stay with us hopefully we get a bring, bring you another big deer Seen some really big bucks tonight. Yeah. No, one was coming in. I was gonna shoot. Then it, another buck came and it went over and went over to that one. And then that one come and that one was maybe should have tried to shoot it, but it wasn't as big as the other one. And then I see another big one. A lot of big deer. Halloween here in 
Wisconsin. We, uh, we've had a heck of a week so far. Every day we've seen shooters and numerous. Sorry, I keep looking around. There's already a doe and the food plot here behind me, but uh, it's been crazy good. We just keep coming back to the same stand because every time we come here, we're seeing some of the same shooters plus new ones every time. So one of these times we're going to make it happen. Uh, we're looking for a lot of good bucks. I don't even want to, I don't even have time to go through them all. It's just been that kind of season here. Uh, we had a super slow early season, but ever since about October 20th, man, it's been just nuts here. So we finally seen uh, probably a buck on a doe last night down below us. Besides that, they've just been seeking. So um, just starting to heat up, starting to get good. Like I said, Halloween here. Can't hunt tonight, taking the little girl out for her first trick or treat. Um, but we'll be right back in here tomorrow morning again if uh, we don't make it happen this morning. But I got a good feeling about this morning. I think we're definitely going to see see something good. Hopefully we can get him in close enough, get a shot. If not, we've got the rest of the week. So November 1st here in Wisconsin, 28 degrees. It's chilly. Um, we're talking a big snowstorm today, so hoping to get a good three, four hour sit in before it gets real bad. But uh, Bucks have been chasing like crazy, so I got a little scent line here. We're gonna drag it on our way. We're gonna kind of hit up a new spot this morning. It's actually usually a late season spot, but a buddy of mine sat up on the ridge last night and uh, seen 13 bucks, and they were all down in the bottoms. He said he didn't see a doe with them, um, but he doesn't know if they were looking for a doe, if they had one pinned down in the bottom, but either way, this stand's only about 300 yards from where they were at. Um, so we're going to drag the scent line in there and, and hopefully we get a buck cruising this morning. It's a beautiful morning, cold, I'm freezing, but uh, we're going to get our butts out in the stand and see if we can't get one. seen a lot of deer this morning uh, just didn't see the big bucks we we're looking for so we're gonna head back in and try to do a little rattle session from the ground yesterday uh, there's 13 bucks spotted in this woods right in front of us and there's some good ones in there so we know they're in there there's probably a hot doe in there so we're gonna get a little closer to their home territory try a little ground stock and see what happens never know don't hurt to try it so like probably a two or three year old buck but he only has four corns he's probably 13 12 13 inches wide but just a four corn but 
It is snowing like crazy. They were talking snow earlier today. It never hit. I thought we may be in the clear. Not a good, we didn't have good enough surface to check, but uh, now it's coming down like crazy. So we got a ground blind here on a pick or on a bean field, standing bean field, and uh, we had high hopes there'd be deer on it, and there already is. So our our thought was right. Doesn't mean the right one's gonna step out, but good to see. Um, once this breaks tonight, tomorrow morning should be really good too. But we've seen a lot of deer activity this morning. Just didn't see anything big. But we're sitting below one of my favorite spots and a lot of good deer there. So I know they're using this field. Let's just hope it's during daylight. So I'm going to shut up here because, like I said, there's already deer on the field. Get looking. Make sure to check out Precision Outdoors on Instagram and Facebook.
chose to wait because they've all been coming right to this stream. Thought I was going to shoot that deer, and all these deer had been coming in, single file line, uh, hitting a scrape, and then hitting the next scrape, and then another one. And it just brought them right to me at 20 yards, and all the bucks had been doing it the whole week. Um, so when I got set up, the deer hit the first scrape at 35 yards, and instead of me just drawing back and shooting the deer right there like I should have, I waited while the one deer I'm going to shoot turns and walks the other direction, and I don't get a shot. Um, and I was like, I was so mad at myself. And it wasn't even like it was the biggest deer in the world. It just, I, I had an opportunity to shoot the deer and I passed it. And it, at that point I was, you know, I was disappointed that I didn't get the job done. But what do you do? You just keep hunting it and hope you get another opportunity. At the end of the morning hunt, uh, I think it was November 4th, I believe it was, um, we decided we we're gonna leave all our gear up at the stand, go on down, get lunch quick, and then come right back up because we'd been seeing deer movement pretty much all day. When we had gotten out, I had, said to Charlie, the camera guy, I said, hey, you know, I better bring my bow with me because this will be one of those times where we walk down the hill and there'll be a big buck standing there. So I grabbed my bow. Um, Charlie left everything up besides his camera. We're walking down the hill and to make it even more weird, we get almost to the pickup and uh, Charlie looks at me and he says, hey, you know, I seen on Facebook this other hunting show, blah, 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 snuck into 15 yards and shot a deer on the ground. I'm like, oh, that never happened, you know. So we just keep walking and I look down and I catch a glimpse of I mean, I know it's a shooter right away. I know it's a big buck. Um, starts walking, and I watch him hit a scrape. So usually I've seen deer do this in the same situation, but you always just get back in the, get in the pickup and talk about it. For some reason, I acted, um, took off running. Had probably five, 600 yards of cover to get to the deer. So we made a big swing around. It got about halfway there, and I spotted the buck again. He had moved quite a ways, but he was at another scrape. And I had seen deer do this, so I had a really good idea of where, they were, where he was probably going to end up. So I just took off running, and right when I got to the hill that I knew he would probably be coming behind, he beat me there. So I quickly got down. He was at about 40, 45 yards. Um, the deer was hitting another scrape again. So what I did is I grabbed my grunt tube, got aggressive, I grunted. And right away, the buck grunted back at me. So that told me, you know, obviously he was somewhat interested. And I couldn't see him at this point. So I grunted and I snort wheezed again and just sat there. And I don't know what, how much time went by, probably two, three minutes. I could hear that deer make a noise, kind of circling. And the deer had circled back around. And I was kind of caught in the wide open, but very lucky that there was a down tree. The deer could have came anywhere and probably busted us, but where he came happened to be probably the perfect spot. So I went to full draw, and right when the deer had just come into the opening, his nose had just touched the opening, he stopped. And he, he was locked on me, but I had an opening about, you know, probably that big through the trees where I could see his vitals just perfect. So, you know, I asked Charlie on the camera, I said, do you got him? He's like, I think I do. And I was to the point where I had never shot a deer on the ground before. It, in my opinion, it's kind of the ultimate thing you can do. Big game hunting is kill a mature whitetail on the ground with a bow. I mean, they are probably, they are the smartest animal. I've hunted a lot and I had different animals and they are by far the smartest. And so I was gonna shoot the deer regardless. Luckily, Charlie did his job and he had it on film. Made a perfect shot at 15 to 20 yards. Deer ran 50 yards and, and he tipped over. That's the coolest thing I've ever done. There he is. Oh, look at the mass on that deer. Oh, dude. That is a tank of an eight pointer. That is a tank. You are done, buddy. You don't know how much I know this deer. Been hunting that deer for about four years. He was a 10 pointer last year. About 170 inch year and he, he, he went way downhill this year. He's a seven year old deer. Great job Wes on an old buck. Thank you. 
Um, I've still got some time left here around home in my archery season, so maybe I'll get on something. Maybe I won't. We'll see what happens. Um, but stay tuned next week. We're going to be heading to New Mexico. Wes is heading out to chase some elk with his dad with Black Mountain Outfitters. Oh, baby. Well, That's dad, a quick hunt. You well, know what? I, I feel bad. Huh? I feel bad. Why? That you hunted your whole life to shoot that bull. And no, I didn't hunt my whole life to shoot this bull. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot one bigger. <laughs> well, I hope, you, I hope you do, but I, that's a bull you shoot. Yeah, no, I would, definitely. We, uh, we were on a real good bull this morning. We thought the dad would probably shoot it, and uh, we just confirmed it. I think he'll shoot it. He hasn't said 100% yet, but he said it. He looks pretty nice.